Well, good morning. Happy Thanksgiving week for everybody here in the U.S. Okay, so on a video I did last week on uh, Volkswagen tire repair, I just kind of talked about, had a flat, I plugged it, and I had a couple of people ask questions about, uh, about how I did it. So, I don't have a tire in here that I could really show on. Um, the easiest one would be the loader tire. So if it had a, like a nail or a, a small hole, we're not talking large holes, and, it, and actually this is probably not even a good example because a tire like this so you'd take off and you'd, uh, you'd have a patch uh, put on the inside um, and uh, I don't know what they call it, galvanizing the uh, tire. So, uh, but just, just, just for, uh, just for the sake of, that's the only tire that I have other than using a wood splitter tire. Uh, so this is easier, I don't have to bend down. So let's just say this is a regular vehicle tire and there was a nail in this tire. So what you would do is, you would uh, identify the, uh, identify the uh, nail by marking it, finding it, running water over it, pumping it up. And it would, you know, it would be leaking some air. So you'd identify it by marking it with something to the effect of uh, where you can refine it very easily. Um, and then generally what I would do is I get everything ready I'm going to use, which would be in this case is a kit that I've had for years and I just replenish it. And this kit was originally $32.95. And this is a safety seal kit. Now there's a lot of different kits. This is the original box and it comes with the like an applicator for this for the seal, the plug. It comes with a rod for reaming it out uh, the hole. It comes with the um, various other things like actually the seals themselves. There's different styles. These are longer ones. They come longer and all I do is cut them down to the size I need. And they generally would be in the length of Well, they'd be this length right here. This is about the normal length for a seal. Now these are black um, and there are red ones in here also. So what you do is you take the, the side cutters. Um, you would have the seal uh, uh, ready. Now to get the seal, I'm kind of jumping around here. So, so on the seal applicator, you can see it spread you would take one of these, these are individuals, there is four in this package, you'd peel one of these off, you would slide it through and put it dead center on here. So you got that applicator on, then you would take the uh, safety seals, uh, the lube, you would uh, dunk the seal, the patch seal, the cord seal and into that and have that ready. So then you take your side cutters, you will extract the piece of metal, the nail, and that in that case it was a little small piece of metal, uh, looked like an old nail at one time. So you'd extract that and of course it would be pumping out the air. Now generally you want to bring the tire up to the proper, uh, the proper uh, air pressure for that tire. Then you will take the reamer and you will go also using the safety seal lubricant on that, you'll go in and out, in and out, get it so it moves in and out freely. Because uh, sometimes they're jagged in there, you want to kind of clean it up a little bit. And then you will take the applicator with the seal on it, on the end of it. Now just imagine that seal's on the end of it. And you will shove that in the hole. Boom all the way down till it gets right up into here, right to the edge of the applicator. Then you put one hand on, let's see I did it for me. So you put one hand here and push down on here and pull. And that will put the, the seal in there in a U-shape form, filling that hole. 
then you would take a razor blade. Now, some people do, some people don't. I do. I cut them off. I check it first with water to make sure it's not leaking. And then I cut it off just above flush. Not quite flush, just above. So it also, as it's going down the road, it pushes on that and kind of mushrooms the end out. And that's it. And that will fix minor leaks, like uh, little nails or something like that. Now, of course, if you get one in the sidewall, um, if it's a tire that is not used on the road, like a little trailer that you have around your yard for carrying debris or something like that, you could patch it that way. But anytime you get something in the sidewall of a tire, or it's a longer slice, pretty much done. You can put a tube in the tire, but you're pretty much done. I wouldn't run them. Uh, they're, they're prone to fail. So, so that's that. I'll keep, I'm supposed to be slowing down when I turn because I, apparently I'm giving everybody nauseous spins with my camera work here. I can't believe it. I'm such an expert camera person. So that's what it is. Safety seal. You can buy them at any auto parts. Uh, there used to be a guy who used to come around and sell these and other things. So that's where we are. So another little update is... Um, all we have left to do here, the gas is plumbed in, the regulators are on. Uh, I ran the length of wire I needed for the uh, thermostat and I'm just waiting for the electrician to come because I'm not playing with that. And we'll run a wire out of the box over to a safety switch, then back up to the heater. Uh, we'll do a first start on that and have the burner guy adjust everything the way it's supposed to be. It should be pre-adjusted, but we'll, we'll check it out for, uh, you gotta let it run 15 minutes and then check the air to make sure that it's getting the right volume of air. The only adjustment is on a, uh, little air intake. There's nothing on the burner itself. So, and then we'll put the cover back on it and then it'll be done and we'll be done with the wood. So another little thing today, we're doing a road trip to go look at a dump body to go on a one of the trucks. This is an aluminum dump body and I'll bring my iPad along and see if I can get some video out there if they'll allow us to shoot it. Okay, so thanks for stopping in. There's a clarification on how I did the, uh, the seal plug on the uh, Volkswagen tire, which is holding great. And uh, when I got some new video on that dump body, if it's something that uh, he's going to buy to put on his dump truck, I'll, I'll try to shoot a video out there if they let us. Thanks.